Carbonites Gaming. All right, Knights, welcome back. This uh, this is Torchailer, and what we're going to be doing today is I am taking over, if you remember from the early years, uh, on our channel. Battle Beast used to do a bunch of Summoner's War videos, and I felt I could take that over because I play the game a lot more than he does, and I'm pretty much addicted to it. So what we're doing today is going to be an account overview on uh, on my account here, and then I've been a little lucky in some summons, and uh, then we got a little summon session. I think we got like 100, 100 scrolls, give or take, so we'll, we'll do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully this kind of leads more people to, to come into this game. It's really fun. It's a great time uh, time grind, if that's what you're looking for. But aside from that, we have to start off every night's video with a celebratory beer. There we go. All right, so let's get into this little bit of an account review. So I know everybody out there is looking and they're thinking, you know, there are a ton of Summoner's War streamers, YouTubers, you name it. And I agree, there is. And a lot of them, very good, very helpful. But for me, I'm not a G1 player. I'm not a G2 player. I'm barely a Conqueror player, if that's how the game is for me. And for those of you that don't know what those are, stick around and trust me, I'll teach you. So the big things are, for me, is the ruins. So I have some monsters. We'll go through some of my monsters. I use some of them on defense, some of them on our offense for arena, but mainly it's dungeons. Dungeons are your big, your big go-tos for this game, right? So you're looking for my dragons team, right? It usually goes ah, about a minute, a little under a minute. And uh, I got a couple Lucians on there. And once again, got lucky with a, a Lagmaron, which is actually skilled up and kind of surprising. But in order to play this, it's not very difficult to uh, to obtain the monsters. The hard part is obtaining the runes to make them worth playing. So as you can see, this, this group will run. It'll run quickly. It runs like not 100% because I'm not that good. But it will run like a 95% clear rate, usually around a minute, a little under. Uh, let's say about a minute to be safe. Now, for those of you that don't play this game and you're just our normal our knights that come to every video just because you support us, which we thank, uh, this game is great. It's a great way to kill time. You don't have to put any money into it. I never have. Um, and a lot of people will not believe me once you see some of the monsters that I have, but, uh, I am firmly a cheapskate and I am not afraid to admit that. So I have never put a cent into this game. Um, and for me, that's, that's part of the fun of it. I, I enjoy learning to play games and become better and get farther in the game with progression than I would without uh, or with just throwing money at it. All right, so let's go check out our Dragons team. I didn't look at the time on that because, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not good at remembering things. So let's check out Dragons. I went through that very quickly. It's a Vertiheal, which for those of you that do play the game, you know exactly what he is. For those of you that don't, he every time he hits, he increases your team's attack bar. Great guy to have on the team. Uh, this is where you're going to see my first one of my first lucky pulls. So the the light dark units, obviously everybody wants, everybody needs. Um, Martina, which is down in the bottom left corner, the dark boomerang uh, twin, is great. She has made this run so much more viable for me. Uh, she will steal the immunity off of the um, boss dragon at the end. And that really helps to get uh, that attack bar reduction that Shayna or the Fire Chakram Dancer will do. And that, my friends, is my Dragon's Team. I, I'm not going to lie, I stole some of the ideas from a couple other streamers or, or YouTubers that I have watched. I'm not going to lie, I watch them all as well. But one thing I noticed that they do, that I, or that they focus on that I don't, is higher level stuff. Now, if you do play the game, um, you'll know there's Guardian, which is the highest rank aside from Legend, which is the highest person. Uh, but 
Guardian or G. It's got three levels. And G1, 2, and 3, I am never going to hit. I'm never going to be that good. I'm never going to have those monsters. I'm never going to have those runes. Conqueror, which is one step below, is also somebody that I'm never going to be higher than probably a C1 or a C2. Um, but Fighter, which is where I usually hang around and tinker around with, I'm definitely going to hit there more than once. So this is my Necro team. Necro is, in my opinion, the hardest dungeon to clear. This is the only one I haven't done in under one minute. And for those of you that do play, you'll notice that I use the free light or dark vampire lord. Um, and then a bunch of other stuff that just hits a bunch of times. So let's see how this does. Hopefully it doesn't fail and make me look like a fool, but it probably will. So the big things for me are progression. I love progressing in the game. I love being able to, to go into guild wars or into arena and just get better and do better than I did last week and without putting money into it. So for those of you that are new, haven't subscribed, haven't liked anything, feel free, throw a subscription on, on our YouTube, toss a like, throw in a comment, feel free, tell me what you want. Give me ideas, give me, I don't care, troll me, do what you need. Um, I'm not one of those guys that's going to take a, a lot of offense to anything anybody's going to say to me. So I feel pretty safe in that aspect. But uh, yeah, I like hearing back, like feedback from the, the community as well. It's, it's a big community and I know there's lots of people out there. And what I'm hoping to do is be able to show a a point of view from somebody that isn't a super high rank person. I know I'm never going to be a high rank person and I'm totally okay with that. For me, it's just the fun of the game and getting better than I was yesterday. And it's been about a week since I've been better than I was yesterday. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a great, great idea. Once this run finishes up, hopefully soon, there we go. And uh, I'll take you through, I'll show you some of my monsters. I will show you the ones that people will hate me for and will doubt my free-to-playness. But I can guarantee you I have not put a cent into this game. Poseidon will definitely, definitely vouch to that, as well as Beast, and he's not a, very pleased with the whole situation. So, I've, I've got garbage runes on a lot of things. As you can tell, I have a slow Orion, and yes... It is on Swift, so uh, that's that's not a good good place to be. But I do have a couple Camilas. One's on Vampire, or sorry, one is on Nemesis. One is on Destroy, and both are on Violent. Give you a quick look. So two, four, up oh, two, four, six, and then your one, three, fives. Uh, not bad runes on some of them. Not. Uh, not exactly the greatest, but they work. Um, and once again, the monsters that I use these for, everything aside from pretty much what you saw in those three runs, I use for Arena or Guild Wars or Guild Siege. Um, so I do have Rakans, I do have, well, a Rakan, Kumar, Villa Jewel, everything you see, I use strictly in everything else except for what I need to to progress better and it, it kind of sucks because that's the way that the game kind of works out. Um, I'll kind of breeze through these and I will summon, I got about 100 scrolls that I'll summon for you guys right after this, but my last summon session I did, I did about 30 scrolls and I got really lucky, I pulled a Hathor. So what Hathor does, in case you don't know, puts everybody to sleep for a couple turns, she makes it so that she just controls everything. Everything is crowd control with her, which is great. Um, the bad thing is, is I also pulled something else that a lot of people are not going to like me for, which is Artemil. I was as surprised as everybody else. Um, Artemil is actually the face of the game. It has been a monster that I never thought I would get, but thought it'd be really cool to get. And I did, so I ruined him up with uh, some Despair Shield, because I don't have anything better. He's more HP than he is anything else, which uh, I'm totally okay with. And uh, he's a little quicker than most, which I'm also totally okay with. Uh, as well with Artemil, I have more uh, 
light dark nat fives, which once again, people are not going to believe it's a free to play account, which it is. Uh, this Nyx, I have no idea how to use, so I threw runes on him, and like I said before, I use him in guild, siege, and uh, other guild related or arena related things. And just because I'm not done yet, I also have a wedge at, which is another light dark nat five. I'm not very good at using him. He needs to be a lot faster on a lot different ruins, but at the end of the day, I use him for guild siege and labyrinth. Sometimes I don't. I just I just use them for when I need them when I run out of other monsters to use. So if you want, feel free throw a comment down if you want to see more of of my monsters, my ruins, anything like that. Uh, I can make more more videos. I totally plan on making more videos for more of a summoner's war series and i will show you guys kind of what i do in a kind of fighter three conqueror one situation i'll do some arena stuff and watch you guys can watch me just get my shit pushed in and then uh we'll kind of go from there so leave some comments if if you have time throw down a like throw down a sub hit the little notification but mainly throw some comments in there i want some ideas from from anybody that's watching this game or this video, sorry, that plays the game or is interested in playing the game. What do you want to know about it? Do you, what do you want to know about my stuff? I, uh, I just kind of do what I need to do and I tinker around with things as I want. I rarely change runes around, but I'm totally down for doing a video on, on changing runes around. It's, it's far overdue on my account. So, uh, yes, please, please let me know what you guys need. Um, so with that being said, Let's uh, let's summon a couple things. Now, my most wanted monster, and for those of you that know me, Poseidon, uh, is Virad, the water dragon. Amazing. Really want him. If I don't get him, I will probably just continue to save up. I have put over 10, 15,000 summoning stones into rotations where he is in, and not once have I gotten him. So, we're going to do those stones last, because it's... Uh, it's going to make me feel bad if I don't get it. Oh, and a lightning right off the bat. Let's see. All right. So I think it's Hwahi and uh, really good and can be good in Necro. Good in um, some Rift Beast stuff for Wind. Eh, wind Serpent, not useful. Harpy, eh, food. There's a lot of the things in here I'll just kind of quickly go through. Um, tractor, the Water Frankenstein. Great. Uh, cannot be, was he cannot be uh, defense broken or stunned, one or the other. Um, Bajir, I'll use him for food. Uh, food, Amazon. Megan's a really good pull if you uh, need uh, an attack bar booster and uh, an attack buff person. All right, let's see what disappointment awaits. Uh, so. He's garbage. <laughs> Sorry, you use him to skill up your Lucian. Lucian and Liebly are just the dark ones, the only one worth keeping. Oh, I'm getting some good lightning rates. This should make uh, Poseidon kind of pissed off about that. Alright. Uh, he's gar Well, I forget his name. Argon. Argon is good food. Uh, he's also pretty good in the water uh, rift dungeon. And uh, dragons, dragons, or not dragons, sorry, giants. He's a really good, really good guy to have. And then, as some of you may have noticed, in my monster box, I do have my Belladion. Well, I do have my Belladion uh, Second Awakened, which is something I recently did. And then noticed that in order to skill up, you have to. Uh, you have to use secondary awakens for your skill up, which is kind of a pain in the nuts. So that might not happen. But at the end of the day, we'll see. I'm, all, I'm also a lot of talk and not really a lot of things, so I'll probably just burn through it and do it anyways. All right, let's get uh, let's get something useful here. No, Todd, get it together. There we go. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, elementals, beast hunters. All right. So, oh, I forget his name too. Anyways, he's garbage. He's just food for Lucian. Or not Lucian, for um, Verdi Hill. 
if you get Vertiheal, which if you played long enough, he was a free monster, they just gave him to you. Um, once again, he's great in Dragons. Really not bad in a few other places. He's been pretty big in Arena for a lot of people, if you can get enough speed on him. But, uh, like I told you before, my runes aren't exactly what I would hope for. So for me, it's it, he's not going in Arena. He's uh, going into RTA. Um, I rarely play RTA. I usually just get to Fighter 3 so I can get the free mount. Uh, all I've ever wanted is uh, the wings from Conqueror, which I'll probably never get. But once again, like I said, if if you guys put down some comments, if you want to see some some really, not really low level, but kind of what your average player would play for RTA, then you know, I, I'll make a video on it. And it'll probably be hilarious. Uh, that was Zabralta. He's... I just use him for food for a lot of things. He's not bad in uh, Necro. I have just never used him. I've never built one. It's never been one of my priority monsters to build. I kind of went off this template of, of what most people would use and kind of built my own teams around that. And then once you get the right rune set per or for whatever monster you decide to use, then uh, you kind of build up from there. And yeah, so that's that's what I did. It's, you know, I've helped Poseidon do a couple things on his account. Um, Battle Beast wants me to do some stuff. I'm also looking at doing a complete overhaul on Poseidon's account to uh, turn his garbage account into something a lot better. Sorry, Poseidon, but we both know it's true. And uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be a bit interesting. I've never really done something like that, but I know... I've got a general idea as to what to do, and I know that he doesn't play near as much as I do. Um, so those last two pulls, Shimite and, uh, oh crap, the other guy, um, not that bad, not that great. Shimite's got some some okay skills. She's okay for uh, for dragon or for giants as well. So I've just been farming a lot of dragons trying to get stuff. So Rebecca's useless, but a free 4-star is a free 4-star. I know there's... Oh, that is the first time I have ever summoned an Orochi. Um, really good for giants again. Lots of hit. Well, lots of dots. Dots are good. Another free 5-star or 4-star, which I'll use for food to, to skill somebody up. Da -da -da. So the big, the big scrolls are obviously going to be the light dark scrolls and the legendary scrolls. For me, the big scrolls are going to be the stones. Um, Varad has always been one of my most wanted, and it's going to continue to be. And that's probably never going to change. Even when I get them, that's probably all I'm going to use. Uh, so... The Dryads, I've never really tinkered around with. I know Poseidon pulled one. He ended up with the uh, Wind Dryad, and it helped his giants run out. And uh, so I could look into doing some stuff like that. If there's any monsters that I do have that anybody watching would like to see built, I uh, I have no issues with, with tinkering around and uh, getting one built, playing around with it, seeing what I can do, and then giving you a bit of a an overview of how bad I did with it. But aside from that, it's just kind of, I just want some ideas from the community. I know there's a lot of people that do make videos. I, uh, and for those of you that do know me, you're going to understand that the videos I make are going to be slightly different than what everybody else makes, hopefully. Um, I've been trying to make sure I pack a bunch of stuff in here, trying to get as much information as I can as a first video into this series for myself. But if you haven't seen them, jump back into uh, into some of our earlier videos and take a look at what uh, what Battle Beast was doing. You know, he was the one that got me into this game and watching some of those videos helped me kind of figure out what I wanted to do. And uh, I, yeah, I just started playing and I know some people have dropped out, some people have come back and uh, it's been really, really really fun for me, especially with work. For those of you that know, I do work on an ambulance. So when you sit in a hallway of a hospital for hours on end, you need something to kind of burn the time. And this game has, has burnt several, several months for me. 
um, in a good way. Nothing, nothing bad. All right. So we got. Uh, let's let's hit up some legendary scroll first. So we got this one last night. Finished the TOA rush, and I got Olivia. Ah, not bad. Defense buffer, attack bar boost, as well as a single target strip, I do believe. And then, oh, Poseidon's Dryad. Uh, no idea what I'll do with her. I'll find something to do. Uh, your these scrolls, to get lightning in these is like a 1 in 17 chance per scroll. Um, and like I said, the last time I summoned, I ended up with uh, Artemil. So I have a really good feeling that I'm not going to get anything worthwhile. And the other monster that I wanted is actually the dark version of the Battle Mammoth, which Poseidon has like 15 of them. I have zero. He rubs it in my face. Um, so leave a comment telling me how much you don't like Poseidon, and uh, I will gladly hear it. All right. Brad. Big blue wings. No, don't want you. Big blue wings. Mainly just a lightning. I'll take a lightning. Okay, now I want big blue with wings. And then I'll be happy that it's not. Trevor's really good, but he's uh, he's small red and no wings. So, very disappointed with him. Alright. So the average is 200 summons for a uh, natural 5-star monster. I had about 100. Not really expecting anything. Big blue and wings? Nope. Although I did just build a Beretta. So, that can be some skill-ups. Um, big blue with wings? How about lightning again? Ooh, it's happening. It's really happening. Alright, big blue with wings, we'll call it a day. Okay, well, blue at least. Um, not a monster I've used. Probably not a monster I'll build. And there it is. So there you go. 200 and, well, 100 and some summons, a lot of food, which I'll end up using. Uh, once again, feel free, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, if you're interested in the game, don't play it. Feel free to jump into our Discord and see what, like, you can get a hold of us on there. I'm sure Poseidon will put a link into something on somewhere. Get a hold of me on Twitter, there'll be a link somewhere for something. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, if you want to see it at all. If not... I'll keep making the videos. It's fine with me. But uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be the end of the video, I do believe. Let's see. First of all, let's see how long I've played. 1165 days. So like I said, it's a good game to uh, burn off some time. And 1165 days is, is a, a bit of time. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I'll definitely do my best to accommodate. And aside from that, I guess we'll see you in the next one, knights. Keep those shields up. Well, you made it all the way to the end. Might as well subscribe now, or at least check out some of our other videos.